appreciate him for who he is, for what he's doing in our lives, what he's doing in people's lives. Amen. He's such a mighty God. And I had something else on my heart. The Lord just led me a spray. I know you probably see everyone nervous. I love him. I appreciate him because I know he's in charge. He knows what he's doing with the boat. He's not what we live in. He's a prayer mentioned God. Yes, sir. He's real to me. Thank you for what he's done for me. If you have your Bibles, turn to St. John chapter 9. St. John chapter 9. John chapter 9 and verse 1. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither hath this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Yes. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle. And, anoint, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And said unto him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam. Which is by interpretation sent. He went his way therefore and washed and came seen. Give Lord a hand, you may be seated. What the Lord was just dealt with me on just a few minutes ago, I'm just going to let him have his way in the word is go and wash. Go and wash. And as I was opened up and started reading there, and the Bible starts out here reading in verse 9, and as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. Jesus is passing by here tonight. I felt his presence so strong earlier in the service. Yes. And as he passed by, he saw this blind man. Amen. If you're in here tonight and you're lost, you don't know Jesus. You're blind. But Jesus has seen you. You know what? He's looking for somebody to go and wash. And maybe if somebody, I, I even thought here as the Lord dealt with me on this here, we got to wash from time to time with the Word of God. Amen. And as Jesus, as He passed by him, He saw him. But there was something that took place when He saw this blind man from his birth. He knew it. I believe he had compassion on him. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? This man or his parents? Everybody's always wondering why they're in the place that they're in or what they ended up. Have they, did they do this to themselves or did somebody else do it to cause it? Sometimes it may happen that way. But in this situation... Jesus, God said that 
He didn't, neither his parents sinned. But that the work of God would be manifested in him. Sometimes there's something in her that God wants to do in us, but it's got to get our eyes up and we got to go and wash. Come on. Good. I'm talking about we got to really go and wash with the washing of the Word of God. Because we're living in a time that people, people, they just, they got to have something natural all the time, Brother Jeff. But we're living, the Bible says, we don't walk by sight, Amen. but we walk by faith. Amen. Everybody's wanting to see something, and I understand the demonstrations. I, I even get right in, I join in, I didn't have the Lord's even had me to do something. But there's times that we got to walk by faith. Amen. Yeah. Not the sight, but God's seeing somebody in here tonight. And he's just saying, just come and wash. Come on. I don't know how long it'll be. I'm, I'm just nervous all over. Brother Hunter, because I had something else. But I know when the Lord speaks to me, Brother Jeff, it's time and high time to get up and speak what the Lord has put on our hearts. Amen. Everybody's looking for a big, long sermon. Everybody's looking for a 50 minutes or an hour. But God don't have to have 50 minutes or an hour. Amen. I've seen in the Bible, right now, Brother Jeff, we spoke. Just go. He spoke when the, when the devils was talking to him, legion. He just said, go. And you know what happened, Lord God? It didn't take him 50 minutes or an hour. It didn't take him very long. He just spoke one word. And you know what happened, Lord God? That's what he said tonight. Go and wash. That's what he told this little man here that was blind from his from his mother's womb. He was blind from birth. When he was born, he had never seen. But God began Jesus. He passed by here. And as he passed by him, he seen him. He seen that he was blind. He knew that he was blind. But Lord God, he didn't have to have the, the ones come and say, Master, listen here what he's done. But Jesus saw that he was blind. And he knew what he did. He just began to spit on the ground. And he took the spittle. He just tucked took the spittle. A lot of people would think that they're sick. But Lord God, he began to anoint his eyes. God takes the foolish things and compels the wise. He took and anointed this man's eyes that was blind. You know what? A lot of us, I believe God done it, glory to God, because this man, he couldn't see what was going on. But I believe that he knew when that anointing, that spirit began to go into his eye, that there was something that began to take place in his eyes. I glory to God, he may have burned just a little bit, but maybe it was burning to everything else that wasn't like it should be. But Jesus, Lord, hear me out here. I'm just following the north of the night. I love him. I appreciate him. But Jesus said, he said, go and wash. And when he went down and washed, when he sent in the pool of Salaam, which is by interpretation, he is sent. He sent him down there. But there's so many people in the word clubs, and it sends him. They will go and wash like the Bible said. Amen. Come on. Good. Thank you, Lord. Lord put the Holy Ghost in us to go and do a work for Him to be the light. He said He was in this world. He was the light of the world. Now think of this. It says, our night, Lord, was just putting all this in my mind. We're going back, back up here. And Jesus, when He said that, He said, but that the works of God should be made manifest in Him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. Look over somebody and say, while it is day. While it is day. While it is day. And I, I said, Lord, you look here while it's day. You can see. You got life. That's day. Are you hearing me? Yes. While we got life, Brother Jeff, that's day. He wasn't talking about. Um, I know he might just slow down here a little bit. He wasn't talking about darkness that's fixed to come here a little bit. And you go to sleep and you get up in the morning and it's daytime again. He's talking about life and death. Because he said, work wise day, night cometh, night cometh. When no man can work. So when you leave this life, when you leave this life, it's it, Brother Bo. They ain't no coming back. They ain't no coming back. But 
But now it's the time to go and wash. Amen. You know why? Because you got life. You're alive. You're well. You know what people want to do? I'm telling you, this world is what went crazy when somebody dies. They want to preach them right through the pearly gates. Are you hearing me? But I'm talking about Jesus. He's seeing somebody in his building tonight. I feel his presence that way. He's seeing somebody in the building for them to go and wash. To whatever's holding you back. Listen to me. Whatever is holding you back. I don't care if you just need a new start in Jesus. If you just need a start in Jesus and you've been searching and your heart, I'm talking about your heart is a pounding at the Lord. You know what that is? I, I didn't know for a long time as I was growing up. But Lord God, when your heart starts pounding bone and it feel like it coming up in your throat. Lord God, that was God dealing with me to go to an altar somewhere because I was about to burst on the inside. I tell you, Lord God, it's time for us to get to an altar and get herself washed. Lord God, when the Lord is a spiritual drawing, when that spiritual drawing you, Lord God, I don't care of what you've done, or where you've been, the things that you got into. I'm talking about a God that's saying to not go and wash. Lord God, that your eyes might be open. There's something that's on your eyes that you can't. I'm talking spiritually. Can you hear me from that? I'm talking to He said, there's something on your eyes that you can't see. You can't see it clearly. Lord God, there's one place.
This is what we've got to get at, church, when the word comes. Yeah. It's telling us to go and wash. Yeah. We've got to read the word and wash. Yeah. I can't just look. I still call him a pastor. I just can't look with a boat and say, it's me, deal with it. That's right. That ain't what I've been praying for. I had to wash. Look, church, we got to wash. When it's time, when he takes and he makes that spittle, daddy. I feel the Holy Ghost is strong when he makes that spittle. And he anoints her eyes. Oh, there's that step. He reaches down. There's a step. He spits and he reaches down. He gets a clay. Brother Jeff, and he walks over and he puts it in his eyes. Come on. But it didn't stop there. He didn't open his eyes up and see. No. Come on. But he can hear. Come on. There's somebody that's here tonight. You better come and wash. You better go and wash because I'm telling you, not to come. Now it's a come when no man can work. I don't know when it is, but Lord God, I'm talking about when Jesus sends a word. It's time for us to get our eyes open that that we can see clearly of what's going on. Lord God, I want my eyes open that I can see clearly. Lord, make me wise that I can see clearly. Lord, give me knowledge that I can see clearly. Lord, let me help somebody else, Lord. I'm talking about Jesus that came and wants to know our eyes and get these things out of our life. Lord God, I'm talking about a man. Jesus tonight, and He loves you. He wants you to come. He just said, go and wash. I've anointed your eyes. I've spit and I've anointed your eyes. Just go and wash. You won't be the same person you used to be. You won't do the same things you used to do. But you've got to come to Jesus while He's a crowd while these spirits are reaching. He said, no man come to the Father except the Spirit draw him. Amen. Come on. Please don't say it. Please don't say it. I'll pray with you. I'll drop the mic. I'll pray with you. We get too wrapped up in the Bible thinking it's going to be a big long sermon. Thinking this, oh, it's going to be set just right. Well, Jesus sets it just right. When he's standing there, go and wash. You've been praying, go and wash. You've been sinking, go and wash. I've been knocking to go and wash. I've been knocking to just go and wash. Come on, bless you, Lord. But they won't go and wash. Go and wash if you want to see, if you want to do, if you want to do better when you walk with God. Go and wash. Look, don't let pride hold you on your seat. I went down, I, I made make it impressions today. But you know what? I told the Lord I said in that dinner songs. Because I, I even texted my wife. I said, Did you get your teeth back? Because he took my false teeth. I know I had to preach tonight, but I said, Lord, I'll preach with them. No matter how much I had to swallow some pride with the chip, it's time, Lord God, it's high time for us to go and wash and get, this, get everything fixed up. Lord God, I know that, yeah, every, every one of us, we got a little bit of pride somewhere. But Lord God, sometimes we just got to swallow it down and say, yes, Lord, have your way in my life. I love him. I appreciate him. I thank you, Jesus, because I know somebody needs to come and wash. I wish you'd come and wash tonight. Lord God, if you come, you can be made free in Jesus. If you want to pray, if you want to pray, thank you, Lord. If you can't understand the wash, if you want to go pray, Come and pray. Come and pray. Come and pray. Say, I don't know how to pray. Just get down. Let your heart burst. Let your heart burst. I remember when I come, you know what? I just got up for him and Jesus. My heart busted. It burst on an altar. Now all that stop, now all that slime, everybody might think it's nasty, but I got forgiven. And I come back from the money, I was a different man. It don't matter what the world says, glory to God, I ain't afraid to cry. I'm not afraid to cry for people because they're dying lost. I felt that man that I lost die because he's got cancer 52 years old. Lord God, but I know a God that can touch him, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I said, Lord, touch him. I go out of the way to do things for him. But I said, this material stuff don't matter, Lord. Lord God, it's what it's about witnessing for somebody. Amen. To somebody. Come on. Amen. Yeah. 
Come and pray. Come and pray. The neighbors therefore, and they that was before had seen him that he was blind, said, Is not this he that sat and begged? And said, Some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him, but he said, I am he. This man, when it, some of them said it's he, one, he looks like him. But he spoke up. Keep on testifying, Brother Ronnie. Amen. Keep on, I don't care if you bounce all over this church house. Keep on testifying. Yeah. You get delivered, you got something to shout about. Amen. Lord God, when we get delivered, we got something to shout about. Amen. I tell you, when you get washed real good, you got something to shout about. Amen. I feel the Holy Ghost. When you get washed real good, you got something to shout about. Amen. Lord God, I got something to shout about. They tell, they tell me fifth, almost 15 years ago, they said he'll shut up in a few weeks. I ain't shut up yet, Brother Chip. I still like Jesus. I still go for Jesus, Lord God. And I've been in this way, and I'm staying in this good way. Amen. This is a good way. Amen. Jesus suffered from the bow persecution. We're going to go through some stuff. We're going to go through things, but do you know what that does? Makes you so much stronger. When the devil, I think about that a lot. It helps what Brother Bo said at that time. About that old donkey that's trying to bury alive. Every time they throw a shovel or a horse, whatever it was. But I think about it every time I take a step. When the devil's throwing, Brother Jeff, I'm taking a step. Yeah. I'm not going to revile back and try to throw the dirt back at him. I'm going to take a step. I'm going on up. I thank God for the little things. Lord God, that comes out, we might not take much of it. But in those battles, in those storms, for the hundred in those storms, I can still see. Why? Because I took the word and I begin to wash my eyes. I took the word when it came and I begin to wash my eyes. I can go down the road, Lord God, and see something, see a rooster. I, I, I still think about that message, Lord God. I'm going to talk to you on that rooster. I tell you, Lord God, I love Jesus for his word. Why? Because I take it and I wash my eyes and I come and see it. I'm going to take care of Jesus. I'm going to take care of him because he's the one, Lord God, that keeps me going. Somebody needs to wash. I don't pray in pain. Now, I'm not bragging. But we don't pray in pain, church. No. When I get down and I talk to Jesus, I don't say, if you hear me, Lord. I don't pray like that, Daddy. When I get down and talk to Jesus, I say, Lord, I know you always hear me. Because I'm walking up right before you. I know you hear me, Lord. Just keep on praying about your situation. Keep on praying. So I'm telling you, I still feel like somebody needs to come and wash. Please come and wash. Nights are coming. Nights are coming. Work wife's day. It's right in the scriptures. Work wife's day. Nights are coming. Night coming. No man can work. Lord God, now's the time you can work. Now's the time you can pray. Now's the time you can testify. Now's the time you can stay. Now's the time you can preach. Now's the time you can go to church. Now's the time you can witness for Jesus. Now's the time. It's daytime. Now's the time. Except the time, but you got the cover. He says the cover. He's telling you to go and wash. Just get off your seat and go wash. Just get down to that altar and say, Lord, forgive me. Lord, whatever it is you want me to do, I feel it right here. That load will be lifted tonight if you cast all your cares upon Jesus because He cares for you. Amen. 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 That's right. Want to be something? Lord can let you see in the future because you won't come and pray. What would you do? What would you do? You'd better and pray. There's a lot of people, Brother Bo, if the Lord just stood it back and said, here, here's five years from now, here's a year from now where you will be at. And let you see where he's at. You may be standing up in the tombstone. But you want to work for you. 
It's locked right now. That didn't work for me. You know what they do? A lot of people say it. They trade you places in a minute. In a second, they trade you places. For one more opportunity to say, come and wash. Come and dine. Come and pray. You know what they do? They run to this altar. This service, before the service even got started, when they come through the church house doors, they'd be praying. You got the opportunity tonight. Your eyes have been anointed with blood. Your eyes have been anointed with that clay. But won't you go and wash today? I don't care. I've stumbled. Brother Ronnie, I got some scars on these knees that you can see spiritually. Amen. Brother Bible, I've got some scars on my hands where I've caught myself. Yeah. Going down, it hurt. Do you know what I do? I go to Jesus. Amen. When my heart was overwhelmed, I go to the rock that was higher than I. Yeah. They still bomb in Gilead. They still bomb in Gilead. <laughs> if it's me, I'll sit down and bet that's what you want to come. I just want to see people. Man. Would you come? All the blind men had to do was go and watch. And he came to see them. If you need the Holy Ghost, go and watch. Therefore said they unto him, how were the eyes opened? Well, you get a testimony if you come tonight. He answered and said, A man that is called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes and said unto me, Go to the pool of Salon and wash. And I went and washed and I received sight. Then said they unto him, Where is he? He said, I know not. They brought to the Pharisees him that aforetime was blind. Let me tell you something. People's going to take. When you get washed, they're going to bring you before this one. Or that one. But you know who you just got to appear for? Jesus. Jesus. He's right here. Like this. He's right here. All he's saying is come and wash. You want to receive sight tonight? You want to receive sight? Come and wash. Come on and sing. I feel the Holy Ghost.